Hey everyone, Mininth here with an important discovery regarding D-pad input styles performance on trackpads, as was discovered by Discord user Gyro in the Gyro gaming server. I'm showing an image of what he said on screen right now. Basically, they observed that while playing fighting games using the touchpad as a D-pad in the 8-way overlap layout, there was a slight yet noticeable delay from when the pad was touched and an input was made to the game. Upon experimenting, they found that when they reduced the analog emulation pulse time and active percent sliders to zero, this delay pretty much went away. It seems these two sliders impact all D-pad layouts, not just the analog emulation layout. So kind of the too long did not watch for this video is that from now on, if you want to get the most performance when using D-pad mode on a trackpad, make sure these two sliders are reduced. And I will show you how to do that both in the big picture user interface as shown here and the deck user interface. I'll show both of those methods. So first up, what was my testing method methodology to kind of confirm that this was going on? Um, I used Global Steam Controller, which is a program I'll link in the description. It basically gives you access to Steam's controller configuration on the desktop. And that's important because when using the Steam controller, you can't use X input in the desktop configuration. So I'm using that program to get the overlay on the desktop. And then I'm using a website called Gamepad Tester. I'm also using, of course, the Valve Steam controller uh, view by Neil, which will also be linked in the description, as well as Valve's own controller heads up display. So I'm using all of those to kind of test back and forth. Um, I then recorded all of the footage in OBS at 100 frames a second, and now I'm in a video editing program to go frame by frame to show you what's happening. Um, I recorded four different segments, but really I'm only going to need to show you two so that you can see kind of what's going on. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first clip. You can see that the analog emulation pulse time and active percent are at their default settings. All right, so you can see the website gamepad tester here, and I've got it arranged so that VSC view, the HUD, and the gamepad tester D pad are all pretty much right on top of each other. But let's back this up a couple of frames. All right, let's forward it by a frame, by another frame. And you can see that at, on the same frame, VSC view is reporting, and so is Gamepad Tester. But let's go a few more. All right, let's back this up a little bit. All right, now let's progress forward. VSC view is now active before Gamepad Tester. It's only by a frame at 100 frames per second, but you can kind of see that there is a little bit of an inconsistent delay with those set up on default. So let me exit out of this real quick. And I believe the max was this clip. Let's open this up. So this is what the settings maxed. VSC view is active. And it takes it a couple of frames before gamepad tester shows up. So you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a lag, and it's not consistent as you would think. Again, you might not notice it, but that is confirmation that there is something going along or going on with the analog pulse person and, and the like. Uh, so if you're noticing that there's a little bit of lag, it's not as responsive as you think it should be, try reducing those sliders, and I'll show you how to do that now. So because I'm in the beta, when I'm on the desktop mode and I click the controller layout, it'll bring up the deck UI. So I'll show you how to access the deck UI stuff here. So you'll click Edit Layout, go to Trackpads, 
go down to the left trackpad, hit the gear icon, analog emulation, and then make sure these two sliders are minimized. In fact, can you even set these to zero? No, it has to be one. Okay, so just set those down as far down as you can get them to be. So that's how you access it in the new deck user interface. Uh, go ahead and change it and then go back to what you would normally use. Okay, so when you're in game, we'll press the Steam button, go down to the controller configuration, and then go to additional settings. And it'll be right there. And you just minimize both of those sliders. So that's how you access all of that. Um, as said, it's a little bit weird that it has this issue, but because it does, I highly recommend minimizing those sliders if you're having issues or if you want maximum performance. That's what I'm going to be doing from now on. Anyway, thanks. Bye.